Uh, so, like, <laughs> we're good. Right. Usman back here. Congratulations. <sighs> uh, went the distance, but you're on to the finals of the Grand Prix. Just what are your thoughts on the fight? Uh, he had to go the distance, but he's on to the finals. What are his feelings on the fight? Uh, you know, it was like a very strong opponent, very good guy, and he dominated a lot of guys like before, and he won. He won uh, so many fights, and I, I, I feeling good. You know, everything is good. How important is it to you now that you only have one fight left to be someone who could say, I won a tournament in mixed martial arts and I get to have that as part of my career and part of my legacy? No, I think we have a lot of work, not only Can I speak a little bit Russia because of I like, don't understand your question. Like, too. Я думаю, у нас очень много работы, чтобы сказать, что наше наследие, вот, она закрепилась, что вот э, теперь хватит. И не думаю, что выиграв этот гран-при, это конец. Э, это только начало, я сказал бы. Usman, right over here. Congratulations on the big win tonight. Uh, was there any specific game plan going into this fight, knowing how tough Brent is to get out of there in the cage? Uh, you know, like all my training cramp, we was game plan, stay distance with this guy. First two round, we know he's so strong, even in the ground and pound, you know. Uh, Yes, everything was well. Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy to my one. Now, we've seen a lot of new up-and-coming guys uh, coming out of Abdul Manap's uh, legendary gym. How important is it for uh, that whole gym in general uh, to be tight-knit and uh, focused in and helping each other uh, grow as martial artists? For me, this is very important, you know, for our gym, we have now like new generation, new really tough guys. I think you're gonna be here about these guys soon. Like, uh, and uh, we help each other, we grow up each other, you know, and we continue legacy for my uncle, Abdumanab, and uh, Alhamdulillah. Hey, Usman, right over here. There's a lot of focus this week leading up to the fight about Cain Velasquez being in your corner, but another guy that's in your corner always, fellow Bellator lightweight, Islam Mamadov. He's always by your side every step of the way. What can you tell me about him, what his presence is like on fight week and in training camp, and what he means to you? You know, today I tell him, hey, please, a little bit quiet. I hear you. <laughs> don't be so nervous. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm so happy to, he is my corner. Like, he was my corner a couple, like, a lot of times, you know. Uh, I get to use his voice, you know, and uh, this is so important and this is very good when someone like Islam, like Kane, like like or Ali Abdulaziz, this guy today say I did everything what he said. Like I was listening to these guys and Alhamdulillah. Speaking of corners, it seems like uh, Habib is back in Islam's corner. He's been training with him in preparation for this lightweight title fight with uh, Charles Oliveira in Abu Dhabi. Do you expect to have Habib in your corner in your next fight or do you think that he's going to be back in the training camp with you for your next title defense? 
Na, he not gonna, he not gonna be corner Islam. He, he, no, he just train, brother. Habib always training. He just come to Dubai, training, stay with these guys. Like this is very good energy, you know. But uh, how I know he's not, he's uh, like he's not come back. He's not corner. He's not coach too. But he push all the time. <laughs> when he in the gym, he's push everybody. No Usman over here, yeah. congratulations. Thanks so much. What was the overall support you received this week in uh, San Diego? And what was your favorite part of fight week this week? Uh, you know, all this week I was in my hotel, cutting weight, you know. <laughs> it was not happy, like so funny week. Uh, <laughs> But atmosphere in the, in the uh, arena was great, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uzman right here. Yeah. Salam alaikum, brother. Brother, you have to say salam alaikum. <laughs> salam alaikum. Yes. There we go. All right. Alex. Congratulations out there. Uh, your opponent, you know, seemed to talk a lot of trash during the press conference. He said you don't believe in trash talking. Um, you just went out there and you let your hard work show for it. And it kind of looked easy. Can you speak about the fight and how you just went out there with your game plan? <clears throat> Brother, I, I just show what, which, which game plan I was. I think everybody saw this. And uh, I, how I say he didn't believe on like what he said, like he will try to knock me out, like something else. But, you know, I don't want to say like something bad about this guy. He was try push his best and he was try to help his family. You know, I just wish him good luck on his future and take care of his uh, self and his family and that's it. And then you also made history today in the books, the books of gambling that is. You went from a minus 2,000 favorite all the way to a 5,000 favorite. That's the bidding the biggest better that there's ever been in Bellator. How do you feel about that? <laughs> don't care, brother, really, I don't care. I don't care, I don't care. Hey, Usman, Kay Williams for Can Chronicles Media. At 18 and 0, what methods do you take moving forward to become an even better mixed martial artist? 18 and 0, 15 win streak, finish, yeah? Now, nine, now 14, yeah. 18 and 0. <laughs> Sounds good, yeah? <laughs> 18 and 0. 25 years, 18 and 0. Who have this? I think nobody don't have this. Alhamdulillah, what I can say, brother? Nothing more. I'm just happy. Hey, Usman. So you just booked your shot in the Bellator Lightweight Grand Prix Finals. Do you think that you'll see Patrici, Patriki Putbull or Alexander Shabley on the other side of that tournament? Doesn't matter, brother, you know. I didn't choose. They, they guy, these guys have fight. Let him fight. Who will win? We're going to be waiting on the top, yeah? Like in the final. We'll see. So you're on a very long undefeated win streak. Do you think you'll eventually be able to get to that 29 and 0 that Khabib got, and potentially maybe even get to 30 and 0 and beat him? No, 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 no. I didn't look like too much future. Like I'm so happy to be here now talking with you guys, and Alhamdulillah. Hi. Has, has Habib called or texted you yet to congratulate you? And if so, what did he say? What? Has Habib called or yeah, texted yeah, yeah. you Habib yet? Yeah, Habib was calling me, yes. Yes, he was calling me. He said, huh? He said, congratulations. I know he was so nervous about me. He always nervous, like, uh, and he said, congratulations. Come to Dubai. We will eat together, like. Burger, cola, something like that. <laughs> but he, he happy, I know. He called me, yes. Yeah. Hey, man, good job out there, man. It's high speed with um, Ring Salary and Prince. Um, I noticed that um, you had a smirk on your face, and it seemed like he acknowledged that he was not on your level. Is that how you felt? 
Заодно скажи. Yes, honestly, I understand. You know, I was control all fight. Yeah. I understand everything. Like every fight, every round, I will think like they they have stopped. But okay, if these guys want to try like some, как там будет? Lucky punch. He was. If you want like lucky punch, you need something else. Okay, we'll try. But I was uh, control everything. Dominate. Yeah. Yeah, man. And uh, one more. I know they said uh, the last press conf at the press conference you didn't have a name, and I think you have a name, man. We should call you Sir Kicks a lot. What do you think about that name, Sir Kicks a lot? No, I don't like, don't like Sir that Kicks. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dominate is better. Uh, I like that. Thanks, man. Yeah. Good job, sir. Thanks so much. Hey, it was my congratulations, brother. Um, you know, the biggest difference between MMA and boxing is that in boxing, that O is very highly coveted. At MMA, not so much. Uh, in the present moment, you're one of a very few select stars in the sport uh, at this level that are still undefeated. Uh, what does having that O mean to you? Uh, you know, this is mean for me. I did all the time great job like you know of course i have to where i like could i could i yes could i stay huh? of course i have to room to go you know and for me it's like okay osman you did a good job yes go ahead again to like jump next level and do and uh, do it again. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. See you after final, yeah, or before final. <laughs>